I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city giddy, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On oh, my mama, I'ma move my family way out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo. I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today I have a special video. Today we're going to actually review, uh, meet up with another uh, subscriber. He has a limited edition Civic Type R. I've never seen limited edition in person. Um, it just happened to work out. We both had free time today. So I'm going to, you know, check out his car and we'll do some comparison between the normal or should base uh, Type R versus the limited edition. All right, let's get going. You guys ready for a cold start? Dodge Ram SRT10, man, the Viper engine, those were the trucks, those were the trucks back then. Look at that TL, I like that, it almost has the uh, X-Spec spoiler on it. You guys remember, actually, probably don't, but I used to have a Acura TL, that style, it was a 2004, good old uh, J32 engine in it, the rated at 270 horsepower which it really changed the ratings to 258 but it was a good car uh minus there are actually a few problems with the transmission but you know i had that car for five years hey everybody welcome back to the channel so here we are here uh with the limited edition civic type r i gotta check this out this is uh one out of 600 in the u.s made uh so this is number 380 and the difference with these and like several the quote unquote base type R is for one they have the cup to Michelin tire so obviously the tires are they're stickier they can um, just more, more for track racing really I mean the cup two tires is like benchmarks is, is what we all you know strive for for a good streetable or I'll tell you yeah streetable track tire um, I think they have the Continentals on my car and they are the contact six. And also too, when you look in the limited edition, you see the black top, so everything's all black. And then there's an absence of a rear wiper, I think to save weight. So there's near rear wiper, I think the wiper itself, and plus all the hoses for the sprayer is gone. Um, and I think there's some other things in here, some other sound detony things that is missing. Yep. So you see how my, badge is kind of chromes I mean I use this on every Civic and then you come over here to type R and it's sort of a more of a darker smoke well in limited edition same thing but also the Civic is now that dark smoke chrome so I missed out dude this this actually comes default as black painted and the mirror covers as well 
Now the owner of this car, he decided to do the Honda uh, at market, which is the kind of that red carbon fiber. I really like the look of this, to be honest. Um, the red carbon fiber covers, and then the also top of the wing. Um, the rims, these are BBS wheels. They're forged BBS, and you can see they look almost similar to mine. They're a little bit different, but um, with these, obviously with these Cup 2 tires, I'm sure it's, it's a really lightweight the package. Here, the design is a little different. So we can go here and look at the BBS. The inside the car, it looks very similar. Um, obviously, it, like I said, there's more at the market, or I say at the market, more factory option. It's got the uh, upgraded uh, shift knob. So as I was putting things into my car here, um, another thing that I was realized is there's like, I have this cover, this retractable uh, privacy cover, and I'll see it on top limited edition you don't get one you don't get anything of course there's a connection for it but there's nothing there so they're really just um, Honda is really just taking little bits and pieces out of the car to save you know you know a few pounds and you can see that the engine this is my engine engines are exactly identical uh, another thing I missed also if you look the suspension they which you can't see it but there's been some recalibration with the suspension on the limited edition, which helps it, um, you know, supposed to help it in track and handle better. And supposedly it's going to uh, set some records. Yeah, so everything looks exactly. the same mileage 2700 I gotta double check mine and almost around the same amount of fuel um, but we're gonna we're gonna compare these cars we're gonna see actually in a, in a straight line is there really a performance difference with the type of, with the two different type R's it's just weight savings is worth the uh, the money here and you can see right there 380 is his number but everything else in the car is the same I think in some uh, countries I think you lose this uh, infotainment system for just to save weight but uh, yeah everything else is me similar let's see and the same miles I have on my car you can see them in the blue one there's yellow in there we're literally almost exact same in what are the odds that we have the exact same mileage and almost a fuel level
video. Um, the main purpose was to cover the difference between the regular base um, type R and the limited edition. So just a recap summary uh, was the black top, the black hood scoop, uh, black mirrors, uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, um, deletion of the rear wiper and the uh, uh, sprayer, no cargo cover, sound deadening material um, is missing and in some markets, European markets, uh, Canadian markets, you might even notice the um, infotainment screen is missing. Uh, and also different wheels, the wheels are lighter. Now, those few pounds should make the car, plus with the stickier tires, I think would make a marginal difference. Um, but is it worth that extra money? Is it worth the extra premium you pay over to a regular Type R? Me personally, I don't think it's worth the money. Unless you're a purist and you are saying this is what you want to buy one of 600 of these cars and you know keep it and hopefully it, you know you're just that's just you're like a diehard. I can see someone buying that or someone who says you know what they just want the best of the best. You know you're, you're gonna do lightweight stuff to the car anyway. You're gonna buy a car like this, make it a track car, and uh, being ahead of the game already, the car doesn't have all that that the the sound deadening with stuff and it has the, the upgraded tires. Yeah, that may make it worth it, but from an acceleration standpoint and enjoyment standpoint, it is not worth the extra money. Uh, we did a couple polls just for fun. Um, it wasn't anything you know crazy, but again, these cars are manual transmission. So, um, and with the being so close and the horsepower being the same, the you know, exact same engine, we're talking very little. We're, we're, it, it comes down. It's, it basically is a driver's race at that point. Doesn't matter, you know, if you got jump, I got jump. It's kind of like who jumped out there first or who was in the right gear. I think I was watching the videos again. And I might have been a lower gear than uh, he was. So <clears throat> it all depends, you know. And at one point, I think he jumped out ahead of me. And, but like I said, it was just all for fun. But if you are on the fence to these, you want to know which one to buy, you're, you're, you're still deciding, um, I think you'll be perfectly happy with the regular Type R. Now, um, if you want to watch a video of how, why, the story of what I went through, the hoops I jumped through to buy this Type R, click the video up here, okay? And if you just like cars in general, all right, click this one down here. This is just my regular, you know, random YouTube, you know, playlists of cars and stuff like that, races and things, uh, vlogs and stuff like that. I don't sure which video I'm having down here, but yeah, just you know, explore about our videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.